the VCA Pictures presentation. Mothers, do you hear? Yes, mothers are definitely out. That's right. And don't do television either. I shudder to think what, what my fans would have thought if they saw me play a mother. Can you believe it? You know, mothers aren't sexy. And if your public sees you do a character that you're not right for, they begin to suspect that you're growing old. And you know where that leads to, don't you? You know what you ought to do? want to get yourself a good manager. That's what you need. I'd be very glad to introduce you to my manager, but I think he died quite a long time ago. Oh, 
You are a dream, Alicia. You know that? Everything's fine. We are really going to create now, aren't we? All right, now. Sip a little. A little more. Good. Think sex. Good. Drink some more. Yeah, take a big gulp. Beautiful. Good. Yeah, take a sip. Some more. God, you turn me on. Oof. Drink a little bit. Drink it all. Good. Okay, now. Let me see some sex. I'm a Tom Jones style. How do you feel, Alicia? your lips against my cock. Beautiful. I want to pound against you. I want to stick it inside so deep. Beautiful. Thank you. I want to stick my tongue right off your pussy. God, you, you really make me hard. I just want to, uh, just want to cream all over you. Oh, oh. That's a good girl. Good girl. You're going to feel better now. anyway. Look, after class, do you want to come over to our place for some coffee and chit-chat? Our place? Are you married? No. <laughs> no. See that girl up there? That's Stephanie. She's my roommate. She's nice. She looks tough, but underneath she's all mush. You'll like her. Okay. <laughs> Isn't he something? Who? Aaron, the teacher. That's what I've been trying Okay, everybody, let's be quiet and get started. Let's start off with some uh, improvs. Rudy, you work with Brenda. Paul, I'd like you to work with, um, you're new here, aren't you? Yes. And what's your name again? I'm sorry, I'm lousy. Kathy. Kathy. Kathy Heinlein. Right. Kathy, I want you to work with Paul. He'll explain the exercise to you, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Barry and Teresa, Jim and Lisa. Okay, that's it. You've got three minutes. You're cute. Thank you. So are you. In that case, uh, let's forget this improv and go to my place. Is that supposed to be funny? Yeah, definitely. Well, it's not. Well, it would have been if you'd have picked up one. See, uh, I'm a very funny guy. Especially in bed. Ask any girl. Some of them are probably still laughing. Oh, look, 
Look, I'm sorry. I thought, you know, girls today were a little more open-minded. Not when they're from Toledo. Well, you really turned out to be a bitch, you know that? Well, why don't you go suck an egg? For Pete's sake, man, I'm not asking for that much, now am I? I gave you my answer. And that's the only one you're gonna get. Get it? Come on. It's okay. Okay, that was good. Anyone care to react? Every time the asshole gets on stage, he disappears. He stinks. What a creep. <laughs> How about Aaron? Isn't he something? What about Aaron? I'm talking about his act. I just want to make a point. Aaron is strictly small potatoes. So what if you get yourself into a, a big production showcase? Big deal. What you need to know in this town is the right people. What about talent? Do you know how many talented schmucks are crawling all over this town who can't even get themselves arrested? Well, I think Aaron's a genius, and I really admire him. That new quarter won't even get you on a bus ticket but headed back home. Kathy, where are you living? In Hollywood, near Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, yuck. That's awful. I almost got assaulted the other night. Some guy started running after me. Oh, God. I made it back to the apartment. How can you live there? I thought the uh, ghost of the stars would bring me luck. The stars never lived in Hollywood, didn't you know that? <laughs> the only thing you find in Hollywood are starving actors, pimps, whores, and tourists. Also plenty of cockroaches. And most of the time you can't even tell them apart. That includes the cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it here. It's nice. Slowly up. And shake it out. Good. paper and I mailed you some pictures oh you like them thank you thank you very much yes I'm a very good actress I assure you I w I'm not sure I know what you mean yes I'm free this afternoon no that would be no problem thank you mr. Clausen I'll see you at three they review pictures about once a month thank you Parked out front, you better move your car. They're handing out tickets right down the line. Thank you. I'm not driving. You're a model or an actress. I'm an actress. Oh, what a happy coincidence. I'm a personal manager. The best. Come with me. See, I wasn't kidding. Jack Stein. Personal management. Come on in. Okay. Oh, you don't have too many credits, do you? Nothing to speak of. How good of an actress are you? Try me. I know someone who just might want to do that. Listen, I really like your looks. You're beautiful, you know that. Of course you know that. 
Thank you. Raymond, how are you? Good. Yes, just Marvy do. Wait a minute. I am calling about your new project. I have someone in my office to be just right for you. Oh, yes, she is. Okay, I'll arrange it. Yes, yes, sure, she's dying to meet you. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you, Raymond. I just got you a date with one of the biggest producers in Hollywood. If he likes you, you're in. How's that to start the day? Why did you do that? Why? It's a weird question. Because, because that's uh, what I do for a living. Besides, I like to discover new talent. And I've had a very good year so far, so I can afford to take a few chances. Now, what's my reward? How much do managers get? <laughs> you mean in money. 15%. Interested? I am. I really am. And I'm very grateful. Now, what do you say we examine how well you can really act? All right. your pictures. You're a very attractive young lady. Thank you. Not too much experience, eh? I've done some uh, student films and some acting in high school. I'm studying right now. That's what they all say. Well, it's true. Why don't you stand up? Sure. Why? Because I want to take a good look at you. You don't mind, do you? Show me your legs. Is this a union film? Of course it's a union film. It's the only type of films I make. Pull up your skirt. Higher, damn it. Now what's the matter with you? Mr. Clausen, if getting this part in your film is contingent upon how my legs look, then I don't think I'd better read for it. Miss Heinlein, is it? Do you think that someone with no professional background is in any position to judge what's going to go over with the public? I mean, I'm seriously considering you for this part. You're not making it very easy, are you? I'm sorry. Come on, kiss, kiss. It's not too much to ask for, is it? so we can't... Uh, oh, yeah? You so you're so? not friends anymore. I don't think I want to do this anymore. I have a little goodie for you. I'll take your mind off this awful experience. How would you like to do a bit of public relations? You have a lovely evening. Make for yourself, are you ready for this? Five hundred dollars. Now, how does that sound? Five hundred dollars? That's right. But public relations, like, like what? I happen to know this very rich, and I mean very, very rich gentleman. And he's new in town, and uh, he'd like to take out an attractive young lady, you know, accompany him to dinner and see the town, and he's willing to pay $500 for the privilege. Money means nothing to him, and... And what, Nora? And nothing, sweetheart. He just wants to be friends. Lonely, that's what he is. You know, he happens to be a pretty good-looking guy. 
It's just that he doesn't know many people in town. And what, Nora? Look, why don't we try and be grown-ups about this, okay? I assure you, sex doesn't matter. Think of this as a babysitting job. Are you interested? I don't know. I'll think about it. Sure. You take your time and you think about it. There's no hurry. But remember, it's real easy money. Hello, sweetheart. How's it going, sweetheart? disappointed you're expecting the real thing no it's not that i was just thinking oh of course success fame fortune career love something like that how about let's have a drink before class no thank you really it's awfully late oh come on sweetheart Live a little. Besides, I don't think anybody's going to be here for at least an hour. Try it, you like it. Okay, let's. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, how long have we been here? You know, it's awfully late. We'll miss class. Nah, what's the difference? You need me more than you need class right now, right? Are you sure? Don't you feel good? <laughs> that is very funny. I know it is. And three more, too. <laughs> Just because I feel really good. You know, you're really a very nice person. Yeah, I know. That's a problem I have. I also have great taste. <laughs> Look around you. How do you like my decor? Very stylish. Is there a name for it? Definitely. Early starving actor. <laughs> should get to class. Honey, it's uh, a little too late for that right now. There'll be plenty of other classes, believe me. Aren't you attracted to me? Nothing to do with it. Uh, all right, uh, let's, I'll take you home. No. Not yet. Soon, but not yet. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night as the winged messenger of heaven or some such. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? <laughs> That's it. It's as far as I can go. Well, it's much better than nothing. Thank you. Are you all right? I mean, I, I heard... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, please. I'm sorry. Won't you come in? Well, if you insist. <laughs>
know you move very well, Alicia. Thank you. I think I'm a frustrated ballerina. <laughs> Come dance with me. Please? No, no, no. I don't know how. Anyway, I think dancing is just uh, a mating ritual. What's wrong with that? Nothing, really. It's just that I, uh, well, I'm impatient. I don't need the ritual. I hate preliminaries. Where are your roommates, anyway? Come dance with me. Lovers get lost, stars are crossed, and there is nothing they can do but fall apart. Go separate ways, wait for better days. Step with someone new. You gotta help me, Mom. You gotta help me. I can't do it by myself. You gotta help me, darling, or I gotta find myself somebody else. <laughs> good reading I must say thank you you also come very highly recommended which doesn't necessarily matter a great deal what do you mean by that relax sweetheart you have the part on one condition that is what I want a little of what everyone else is getting and raving about I must admit well Yep. I'm seeing Aaron. Oh? Paul's coming over. We're rehearsing a scene. That's nice. He's real cute. You're lucky. Alicia, what about Aaron? Seeing him and all. I mean, I don't care what anybody thinks. I know he's kind and considerate. He even recites Shakespeare to me. Do you know that? I saw him today. He did. Where? Hey! Lucky what I got. Oh boy, another one. You must really be doing something right. You'd better believe it. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Listen, there's a party tonight. Lots of producers, directors, beautiful people. Want to come? I can't. I'm rehearsing with Paul. So what? That'll never get you anywhere. Why do you want to give it away when you can get something you really want for it? If I have to sell myself for parts, I might as well become a whore. What's the difference? It's only a body. Not to me. I don't mean to criticize you or anyone. It's just that... It's just that you really don't want it badly enough, and that is precisely why you will never make it. And screwing Paul will never get you anywhere. Shut up, you bitch. Hmm, isn't that something? The little cunt is upset. Please, don't fight. Please. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I didn't mean to upset her. I, I was just trying to help. I just can't stand arguments. My parents used to fight all the time. It's a dry maple wall. Thank you, Kathy. That was an impressive reading. You're pretty good. Thank you. I have a good teacher. Well, the best teacher in the world can't give you what you already have. And that's talent. You know, I think you're really serious about a career, aren't you? I mean, a, a real career. I am. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? I mean, it's a valid question, isn't it? Because... I guess I want to express myself. 
be fulfilled. I never thought that much about it. Perhaps it's because I want to be important. Is that wrong? No, of course not. I love to act. It makes me feel good and special. It gives me a, a purpose that I feel is worthwhile. I feel that if I could succeed, I would count. Not just by being a success, but by living the way that matters to me. I don't know. I'm sure there are other reasons that I don't even know about. I could think about them if you'd like. <laughs> don't bother. What do you think, everyone's like you? You know what I think? Little Kathy is screwing her brains out. Erin must be pretty damn convincing, huh? Kathy isn't that way. I want you to play a very important part in this play that's coming up. It requires strong acting ability. Oh, my God, Aaron. Are you serious? Do you think I'm ready? Well, now that you mention it... I'm kidding. No, I, I mean I'm serious, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. Well, you better get out of here. I've got work to do. Don't bother. I'm not going to change my mind. Maybe it's just as well. Get your hands off of me. Cut. Look, the problem with you is you are too good looking. That's really the problem. Right now we're going through a cycle in which leading men are not supposed to be that good looking. Why don't you say that sooner? That's no problem. I could uh, go out and have my face bashed in by a bulldozer or shrink a couple of inches or put on 100 pounds. Very funny. You do have a sense of humor. But as I told you before, cooperation is very important. Damn it, I did cooperate. Well, yes, and uh, it was all very good, you see. You got me as an agent, that's the beginning. And you've got to circulate, you've got to grow. You have to cooperate some more, damn it. Tell me what to do. A week from Friday, this is going to be a nice little intimate Hollywood party given by a friend of mine, a casting director, Bill Ganser. Now, there's going to be lots of producers. There are lots of projects getting started. I met Bill Ganser. He's a fag. So what? I mean, how backwards can you be? This is Hollywood. It's the 20th century or what's left of it. As I said, Paul, you've got to be open-minded. And the main thing is to cooperate. I told you I'd talk to Kathy. We'll be there. Oh, please, Elisha, should try. It's important to me. I, I, I really want to make up with you guys. I love you. Kathy will be there, too. Listen, she's not angry anymore. No, no, she never was. She was just, uh, just a little bit shook up. I'm so happy. I want you to see how good Jeff is to me. And, and you know what? He, he says he's going to star me in his next film. Well, that's wonderful, Stephanie. I'm really very happy for you. I, I, I'm going to do all the cooking myself. I bet you didn't know that I could cook. <laughs> Jeff just, just loves it when I cook. Um, so it'll just be you, me, Kathy, and Jeff. I, 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 really, I really enjoy cooking, and I, I really want to make up. Okay. Bye for now. Thank you. play games. Answer me. I didn't make it with her. I didn't really want to, I guess. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What about you, huh? None of your business. Oh, yeah. Of course not. Besides, you'll never know. Okay, 
That was pretty good. And tomorrow we'll do it better, right? You got time for coffee? No, not tonight, Aaron. I've got to get home. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Hmm. You sure you're okay? You haven't been your old uh, bubbly self lately. Anything wrong? No, nothing. Thanks. Okay, thanks a lot. Good night. See you at home. If she makes it there, naturally. <laughs> naturally. That was, uh, that was pretty good. It's just beautiful. It's really nice. Well, thank you. Oh, I, I, I sure am glad you're here. You know, uh, uh, Jeff isn't home yet, but uh, I'm sure he'll be home any minute and he got stuck in traffic or something like that. Oh, I, I sure hope you're hungry. I, I made Cornish game hens a la mousquetaire. It, it's my very own recipe. Well, actually, it's a recipe from a cookbook, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jeff's favorite, too. He should have been here three or four hours ago. I, I wonder where in the world he is. Well, let's get started without him. You know how all those big directors are. Sometimes they're just uh, so unreliable. <laughs> there we go. you to meet somebody. Uh, Stephanie, this is Karen. Karen, this is my old lady. Uh, Karen is a marvelously talented young actress, and, and I want to be taking personal care of her from now on. Uh, that is, if she's a very nice girl, right, Karen? <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. Wow, that's a beautiful name. Come on, Karen, you could do better than that. Give her a big kiss. Come on. Shit. You didn't tell me there was going to be a crowd here. Get out. Pipe down, Steph. What's wrong with you? Get out, you bastard, and take that cunt with you. Don't tell me what to do in my own place. You get out, you bitch, if you don't like it here. Hi, ladies. How about a drink?
rang the doorbell a couple of times and there wasn't any answer. Uh, the door was unlocked, so I... Alicia, um, I wasn't really expecting you. I mean, this late, I mean. I'm sorry, I should have called, but uh, I wanted... I mean, I mean, I wanted to see you, to talk to you. Yeah, well, it's, it's just that I... Uh, well, uh, I have to get back to work. Oh, well, okay, I'll only so stay a minute. Who's there? What was that? Um... That's just a girl, uh, an actress, uh, helping her with a, an audition scene. <laughs> Who was that? That's a scene partner. That's another show. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I thought I was special to you. You are. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Alicia, you're a sweet girl. But you're just too fragile. This town will shatter you. I thought I had someone to protect me. Look, I uh, think maybe it's time you go back home. I don't want to go home. I hate it there. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I just thought you were very special, but uh, I guess you're not. I'm just human. No, you're not. You just a creep. <laughs> I thought you were a prince. But, uh, you're nothing but a frog. swinger of them all. Why, well, she just loves it. And you will, too. Isn't that right, Tony? <laughs> good, very good, very good. What's that, Jeff? What does it look like? Is there something in there that I could do? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, come on. Not even a teeny weeny little part. Would you get off my back? You bastard, you promised me. You said that you would. You want a no. part? No. I'll give you a part. A part you can act real well. No. Bet you thought you were going to use me? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Where's my brush? You can't find my brush. It's right here. Thanks. Well, I think I'm ready. I can't think of anything else. My mind's a blank. Good luck, Kathy. Break a leg for me. Aren't you coming? I want to, but uh, I can't face Aaron right now. Alicia, I need you. Please. I'll come next week. I just need a little time. You understand, Kathy? I understand. Well, I'm off. See ya.
Eleonora? Yes, I remember. Uh-huh. Five hundred dollars for the evening. Well, if you want me to, I'll fix it up for you. That's a good girl. He did right on. Foggy went a court now and he did right on. That's a pretty song. What? Get lost, Foggy. Oh, no, no. That's not very nice. I'm your Prince Charming, remember? No, you're not. Uh, yes, I am. I'll show you. And what's that supposed to mean? I forgot. All right, pretty one. I'm happy to see you feeling so good. Now it's time to fulfill one's obligations. should be in porno. <laughs> what are you doing, hiding? Huh? Everybody's waiting for you. Hey, Kathy, I am so proud of you. You are stunning. An absolute delight to ear, eyes, nose, and throat. Now come on out. There's somebody important who wants to meet you. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mr. Grayson? Uh, Kathy, this is uh, Mr. Kevin Grayson. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's a fabulous actor's agent. And he wanted to meet you. Well, here she is. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Kathy, you were really very, very good. You know, you are marvelous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. By the way, this is Linda. She's a, also a very, very talented actor. <laughs> Hey, Kathy, listen, if you're interested, I would love to discuss your career with you. Oh, you would? Th that would be very nice. Yeah, you're a very, very talented actress, and I think I can do an awful lot for you. I think I have a card here to give you. Why don't you give me a call at the beginning of next week? Yes, I will. Good. Thank you. And I hope to see you again soon. Good night. Good night. Alicia? 
Mark, I wish I could have taken better care of you. There's nothing you could have done. Thanks. I'll be all right. You'll see. Anyway, I guess I better go. Gave an excellent reading, Kathy. The director would like to give you a screen test for the role, and it's a very big part. A screen test? You are very impressive. You're a damn good actress, and you're gorgeous to boot. Thank you. You're a magician. Not really, just a damn good agent. <laughs> Miss Heinlein, we're ready for your test now. Thank you. Talented girl, I'm happy to report. Thank you. The director wants you, and I want you. As a matter of fact, everybody wants you. So I've uh, spoken to your agent, and we've set the deal. Now, all you have to do is sign this contract, but first I want you to look it over. It looks good to me. Good. Well, then you sign it, and then I have to sign it, and uh, I believe you're on your way to a fabulous career. You're a very lucky girl, you know that? Thank you. I know. You're also a very attractive girl. Thank you. And uh, this part is going to make your career. I feel very lucky. Uh-huh. You know, just to make a minor point, I have the power to uh, make and break some careers. Now, I believe no one should have that power, and I try not to abuse it. Actually, I'm only as powerful as people want to make me. In this instance, you want this part, and I can give it to you. Or not give it to you. I thought everyone wanted me. Yes, but I make the final decision. And you don't want me? Oh, on the contrary, I want you very much. I want you uh, so much that I feel I must use the power that I have to make you want me. And uh, not just as a producer of this film, but also as a man. Do you understand? Well... Kathy, you put your clothes back on. Here's your copy of the contract. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for a truly astonishing performance. Now you get the hell out of here before I call your bluff. Hmm? Someday. 